Hello, welcome back to Dev Explaining channel. So today I have a really quick one for you. I like to stay on the edge and uh, play with the latest uh, things always, so that uh, when they are really released and widely used later on, uh, I have some kind of understanding and insight on them already. I've been working with Java for a long time, so Java is especially a platform where I always like to take a look in the future. So uh, right now Java is advancing at breakneck speeds. We are getting a new version uh, very regularly. Uh, next one uh, coming up is going to be Java version 17. So uh, here is a trick I wanted to share with you. With Docker it's extremely easy to play with those upcoming versions without polluting your own local developer workstation. Um, I'm going to show you how, uh, using Java 17 as an example. As I promised, this is extremely quick one, just showing what's possible there. By the way, I have to say that uh, WSL2 in Windows, Windows subsystem for Linux uh, version 2 and Docker, that's amazing combination. So currently they are understanding each other as very well. Uh, Windows just became one of my favorite platforms for Docker development, working really beautifully here. So if I want to run uh, uh, the Java 17, I can do Docker run in interactive mode. Of course, you have to have Docker installed first. I, I'm not going into that here, but if you are interested, let me know in the comment section might do another video on that as well. But I have set up Docker, so I have Docker in my Windows subsystem for Linux, and I have the Docker set up in my Windows machine, and they are connected, so I'm able to run commands like this one. So uh, if I say Docker run uh, IT in interactive mode, uh, then I need to know the kind of tag name for the uh, Docker image I want to use. So let's choose Dopen JDK could go with uh, another packaging, but um, just happen to have early access already available under OpenJDK. So it's going to be OpenJDK 17 JDK or 17 EA, however you prefer. But I'm going to do it like that. If you have, if you are loading this for the first time, uh, the thing is that uh, you are going to uh, download it, it will take a little bit of time. I have super fast a network, so that's not a long time for me, but still I wanted to spare you that timing. So I have already uh, downloaded the image layers in my machine, and therefore if I say, say it like this, it's lightning fast. Um, as you can see, we are booting into JShell, and now there is one problem. So JShell is awesome environment to try some new features, but uh, the early access features are not toggled on by default, so let's toggle them on. Here is another spell for you. Docker run in interactive mode, open JDK 17 JDK, and now uh, instead of just uh, running the default uh, executable, I'm actually still running the default, saying bin jshell, that's the default, but then I add enable preview. So this uh, activates all the kind of cutting edge preview stuff uh, for you. You probably want to do this if you, if you want to play with the upcoming versions. Um, by the way, there is an opportunity here to also run Java C or Java or what, whatever you like. So uh, any anything inside your image uh, can be accessed similarly. But right now I'm just adding this one switch so I can play with the latest. And here is a bonus item for you. So um, there's not so, so many things yet you can do, but there is one thing that I wanted to demonstrate for you, and this is sealed classes. So let's play with sealed classes a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of details, but just again showing you something you cannot do with Java 15, 16 or something like that. So we can now do sealed classes. We have two new keywords. We have sealed and permits, as you can see. So I'm doing a sealed class mammal permits human. This is kind of inside joke because I hear people are tired of uh, animal and, and mammal examples when it comes to inheritance. So I'm showing you one more like that. Uh, here we have a, a sealed class mammal and I'm only permitting human. Okay. So you might be already familiar with final class. 
Final class stops uh, inheritance altogether, but sealed class will permit it in special cases. Of course, you can do general sealed class and just skip the permits part. But I, uh, if I do permits part, I'm uh, specifying that uh, this limited subset of classes are the only ones allowed to extend this uh, base class. And then uh, to use it right, right, I can of course uh, define a class that will extend it and it's on the permitted list right now. So now I have a human that extends mammal, all, all good so far. And then we have final class uh, dog that uh, also tries to, uh, so sorry, extends, tries to extend mammal class. And as you can see, not allowed. So we are not uh, allowed to extend the sealed class as it was not on the list. So why do we have a feature like this coming up in the latest version of Java? I'm not going to go very deep into that, mainly because I don't have the best insight. I, I've not used this before, so this is a new feature for me as well. I know it's been around in Kotlin and C Sharp for quite some time, and I know that if you are defining a class library, you probably might, uh, might like to have a little bit more control on defining what can be extended and how it can be extended and how it cannot be extended. Um, I also know some, some things that I figured out is that uh, this allows uh, compiler and runtime to be a bit more clever because if you define your kind of uh, permit list like this, then if you are, let's say, doing switch case structure with this one, uh, you don't need to do default if you already have kind of handled all the possible uh, uh, possible combination. So there is some, uh, the environment becomes a bit more clever if you give this uh, information for it, if you do this exhaustive list. But as I said, I'm not the best one to explain, so I tried to keep this very simple. Uh, use Docker to experiment with new features, that way you don't need to pollute your machine. Then uh, learn some things about upcoming features, you can get a head start with them. So then uh, once they start kind of piling up, uh, you will not be caught red-handed with these, or, or well, red-handed is not the word I was looking for. You will not be caught uh, surprised by these changes. I've seen some people that are still kind of stuck to Java version 8, and they are not aware of any new features coming up. And if you, if you do it like that, then they start piling up rather fast. So perhaps uh, release 9 was not so significant for you, but when you go from 9 to 10, 11, 12, and so forth, things start kind of uh, combining and piling up, and that can really sneak up on you. So I would recommend if you take uh, Java coding seriously, uh, stay a little bit up to date, reserve a little bit of time every now and then, and if you're like me, take a look in the future, play around a little bit, so you will at least know the concepts and have some kind of insight into what's happening there. It's really worth it. Um, yeah. And sealed classes as a little bit of bonus item. There is other changes coming up in Java 17. Um, applets are really uh, on the list to be removed finally. Actually, right now I think they are still here. Let's try that class. My applet extends applet. Oh, it was, I need to put the package. Yeah, I wanted to kind of touch this topic because, yeah, deprecated and marked for removal. It's a warning, so I still managed to create the class, but I think they are supposed to actually remove it here because it was already deprecated earlier. So no applets anymore. There was pretty brutal kind of text for this, like uh, nobody supports them anymore, so we will just remove them. I wanted to point this out because I, I may, just made another video on outdated technologies and uh, Applet was on that list and now it's really getting outdated. Uh, up until Java 16 you can still play with them a little bit, but it, it uh, strongly seems like not anymore, so they are gone. Okay. <laughs> A little, little bit of history there. Anyways, thanks for watching this quickie. quickie and uh, if you learned anything or had fun, click that like button. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.